at Saddle Ridge Fire. I want to switch gears, get to our ongoing winter storm. Winter storm Aubrey uh, bringing blizzard conditions to portions of North Dakota. Chris Warren is in North Dakota in for hours. Yeah, and now on top of that, that's probably a, a finer snow that's really blowing around, probably adding to the snow globe look you've got. You got a lot of interest here at the studio and also with our home viewers when you mentioned the cat. You guys did find the cat. You're feeding the cat oh, and yes. you're working on it. Still relatively early in this game. Winter Storm Aubrey is still doing a number and will be in the Dakotas for hours. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome into this Friday edition of Weather Underground. I'm Alex Wilson. Thanks for staying with us. The big story making headlines today is the fire danger today. Extreme fire danger from areas around Santa Clarita. So up where we've got active fires, one around the Riverside area, the other around the Santa Clarita area, and then all the way down to the U.S.-Mexico border. We've got a lot of real estate and a lot of popping about anything possibly uh, nefarious being out there on the roads. No ice. We don't get ice in summer, but now as we get into the winter months, even though that shot otherwise looked dry, looked fine, you would think there's no problems out there on the roads. Uh, it just goes to show you when we've got uh, cold, we can have real problems, especially those bridges, those overpasses, the ramps. Those are the ones that uh, develop that icy layer sooner. Uh, through tomorrow, freeze warnings from Wisconsin all the way down to Texas, even frost advisories into western Kentucky, southern parts of Indiana. Temps right now in the low to mid 30s, Bismarck and Pierre, upper 30s, Des Moines and Minneapolis. And when we look at what the wind's doing, how that makes it feel much colder. It feels like temperature 18 in Pier 25 Bismarck, 28 in Minneapolis. As we move forward in time, that cold air continues to spill off towards the east and south overnight. Uh, Going to be a cold morning. We rebound a bit, but still cooler than we've seen by late Saturday. Temperatures dropping back down in the 40s and 50s for many. Look at 44 in Pittsburgh. I don't even know if that's an open up the window. I like to open up the window because I like being really cold, but I think for some people, People, they're like, no, nah, Alex, I think now we're getting into don't open the window territory. Potential record cold highs on Sunday through parts of the Dakotas, Iowa, so into the northern tier and the upper Great Lakes. Well, coming up, we are tracking snow, but we're also tracking because uh, Dr. Nab, in that true it's all connected sense, our winter storm playing a role in the winds that we've got across parts of California. Yeah, how a, how a fire starts is one issue, but we know the weather patterns that are conducive for fire growth and rapid spread, and it is largely tied to the broad scale pattern that has produced our winter storm Aubrey in the middle of the country. And behind that big winter storm last night, Big high pressure filled in behind the cold front. That's the cold air that got all the way down into Denver. But that big high pressure set up this pressure gradient all the way down through the Dakotas and around the periphery that high into the into the southwest and a line toward California. And the flow around that high is from the continent to the ocean. That is a classic Santa Ana wind setup for California. Yeah, and unfortunately, we deal with these warming and drying winds. When you have the offshore winds, they really help to fuel that fire danger. Yeah, now for Northern California, that setup has decreased today, but it's still in play here the rest of the afternoon in Southern California, again, going from the land toward the ocean. And then you have the details of the interactions with the terrain of Southern California. And so in the mountains of Northern Los Angeles County and Ventura County, that's where we still have the strongest winds. Palmdale reporting gust to 26 is very localized, but it's the interaction with the terrain that causes uh, the enhancement